Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is officially running for president. Today, he filed paperwork with the Federal Election Commission to launch his 2024 presidential campaign. But he made the actual announcement on Twitter spaces along. Now, in the past, Musk has expressed support for DeSantis, but he hasn't officially endorsed him. Now to our nation's capital. In eight days, the U.S. could default on its debt. China's Lisa Benetton joins us live. Lisa, we're still waiting for Republicans to reach a deal with Democrats. I know that they met today at the White House. How long did that meeting last? Debt ceiling negotiations hit a snag. The U.S. government is moving closer to default. Cheddar's Lisa Benetton has been tracking the negotiations all day, and she joins us now. Lisa, today was supposed to be a very productive day. How early did talks break down? Doctors at NYU Langone transplanted a whole human eye for the first time. The patient is a 46-year-old man who suffered severe electrical burns. Doctors believe the new eye may eventually be able to communicate with his brain. And Jared Leto scaled the Empire State Building to celebrate the launch of the global tour by his band 30 Seconds to Mars. Look at him up on that building. <laughs> now on social media, he says, quote, this album is about following your dreams and pushing yourself to do the seemingly impossible. And that he did. Pre-sale tickets for the tour are on sale right now. New data from the U.S. Census Bureau says America's population will stop growing by 2080, possibly start shrinking by the year 2100. Tonight is the third Republican presidential primary debate. Only five candidates qualified for tonight's event in Miami. Compare that to last time where seven did. All right, so here with the preview is columnist and political analyst Jonathan mm. Harris. Uh, Jonathan, thank you so much for joining us. So, Jonathan, we're expecting more in the Middle East and, as you say, more fleshed out responses. So who is coming into tonight with the most momentum? You know, so Tim Scott has really got to bring it tonight. You know, let's be honest, former President Trump is still the front runner in the Republican primary race. What do the candidates need to do to cut through his lead? You know, I think they're going to have to do something that... At what point did you realize that traditional medicine and therapy just wasn't working? Was there a moment you said, I need something else? Yeah, I mean, well, I, you know, it got so bad, I kind of spiraled, and, and I was about a pound of trigger pull away from being a veteran suicide statistic. I personally do so much shopping online. Are there any <laughs> advantages to shopping in a brick-and-mortar store, trying to elbow people <laughs> with the rudeness, versus just going online? Yeah, this is such an important question and something that everyone mm -hmm. So, Trey, are there any categories of goods that typically don't offer much savings on mm -hmm. Black Friday that we should just say, not today? Yeah, so I love this question also. Time now for a look at the weather. The Northwest is getting a cold snap right now with some snow. Meanwhile, the southern half of the country is experiencing warmer than normal temperatures. Here's your full cheddar forecast. Welcome back to Need to Know. I'm Duarte Geraldino. So many of us got to know Jillian Michaels on TV as a fitness trainer and life coach on The Biggest Loser and Losing It with Jillian. Well, now she's available 24 hours a day on your phone with her award-winning The Fitness app. Jillian, I think back to when I first saw you, and it's been almost 20 years oh, since... Oh, stop it now. The what Biggest Loser. You still look great. You look great. <laughs> Uh, when you look back, do you think that our culture has a better sense of health today than it did 20 years ago? No. No? I would t Duarte, are there trick-or-treating rules in your household? Oh, yeah. If you come to my door and you're taller than me with a beard, you get nothing. Nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No candy for the, the those people? They might need the candy the most. <laughs> and finally, millennials face a sort of <laughs> challenges like, you know, paying for a price education while thinking about saving for their future. But a new study finds where millennials live can affect how well they can do this. I want to get to the topic as well. Let's chop. Let's move on to the topic. You have a whole section of your book about having the right cutting boards uh -huh. and tools. Why is that so important? Well, you know, if you're not set up with the right cutting board and tools, cutting is a lot harder. So I got a nice wooden board. Then I think it is a very nice personal touch to pick people up at the airport. I just saw that personal touch. <laughs> personal <laughs> touch. That's right. <laughs> yes. So people don't have to give themselves a hug. They can embrace others at the airport. <laughs> Meanwhile, Black Friday is predicted really to remain the busiest day for U.S. stores. Now, according to a survey by the account and consulting firm PwC Shoppers, 
are expected to spend an average of $875 on clothes. Well, now, in case you missed it, we all know <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner is really, really delicious, right? But would you eat Thanksgiving flavored donuts? Well, McCormick has released limited edition holiday donuts with Thanksgiving flavors. It's called the Thanksgiving in a Box Collection. We have the three flavors right here. Take a look at this. So, Kristen, we have sent some of this to the stock exchange. I see yours, too. Yep. First, we have it's all gravy. Yes, okay. it's a donut with gravy and stuffing. It has brown gravy infused dough and a touch of maple cheesecake with oh. brown black pepper and ground <laughs> sage. Next, cranberry craze. It has cranberry jam filling with rosemary leaves oh, yeah, yeah. and it's topped with dried cranberries. And lastly, pumpkin to talk about. <laughs> okay, this is a twist on the classic pumpkin pie with a meringue dollop on the top. It has pumpkin pie spice, nutmeg, and cinnamon in the filling, and it's topped with a pumpkin glaze rolled in okay. pecan streusel crumbles. Kristen, okay, so what did you think? What do okay, you think? Okay, I'm gonna go for the pumpkin one, Dorje. Okay, I have see. my little, um, I have my fork and knife up here, okay? Okay, okay. Because I'm wearing basically pumpkin clothes today, so. All right, I'm gonna try that one with you. And I what like do you think? It. It's good. I mean, it is good, actually. I didn't get the meringue on top, but it's pretty delicious. What's this? This is like a pumpkin puree. Mm-hmm. It's actually really good. Okay. <laughs> you know, let's do the gravy one because that's the the, the most uh, far out there. You go first. Okay. <laughs> and it even has little uh, bread, like bread crumbs or something on top. It's a little bit of an acquired taste, but I think some people are going to really <laughs> like it. I think some people are going to really, really like it. <laughs> George, that was so, a little bit of an acquired taste. Um, okay, that's so funny. So then I guess I'll 